Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Rad of Tosca, Black Bloom. Hello, Blue. Uh, Black Bloom, Derp, Catan, Trust My White Band. How you doing? <clears throat> Hello, my fly. All right. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Got my throat is scratchy. Hang on. I need nourishing liquid. Hello, Rex and Antos. There we go. All right. So, I have never played Wind Waker HD, but Wind Waker is one of my favorite Zelda games. It's it's top five for sure. It's it's hard it's hard to tell exactly where everything's placed, but um, Wind Waker is uh hey young Gruga, nice to see you, is is top five. However, uh, I've never played Wind Waker HD. And I looked, I've looked at the promotional art and I've looked at videos of it, and I have not liked <laughs> the lighting effects on Wind Waker HD. Uh, so this might just, this might turn into a big complaining session. <laughs> also, Katana, I, I, you're right, it was my fly that Rick rolled me, it wasn't you. <laughs> it wasn't you. It was my fly. I was deceived. <clears throat> Enter my name. What? I do not remember this looking so weird. Jerf says I'm not a Zelda fan, so I have no idea what makes any of them good. Ah, oh, okay. Wind Waker has some of the finest music in the series. Some of the finest stuff. Mifla says, like Twilight Princess, I won't pay too much attention. That's fair. I don't, um... I still, even after playing Twilight Princess again, I still think it's the weakest of the 3D Zeldas, for sure. For sure. Wind Waker's way better. Oh, I'm glad some people liked the video that I made. Because I noticed, like, um, especially people like Young Garuga and, and Derp, like, they don't they don't know anything about Zelda. They don't care about Zelda. <laughs> they should, uh, should at least have some context for what I'm talking about when I'm gushing over stuff. Yeah, this music is still really good. This is some good shit. Okay, so here in the creation, uh, the backstory to this, it's talking about how the hero's not around, like Ganondorf broke out of his seal, and the hero's not around, and, uh, and so, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, so it's like, huh, why is he not around? Oh, because they sent him back in time. They sent him back in time, and Ganondorf got out. Hello, Biat. Am I going to play Majora's Mask after this? Uh, I'm going to play Majora's Mask last, I think, because my I want my flight to get through it before I, I play it um, on here. I still want to go through some of the 2D ones, like Link to the Past. I It's been a really long time since I've done Link to the Past, and that's one of my favorites as well. Yeah, the Hyrule Historia, look, the Hyrule Historias and the Encyclopedia and the Creating a Chapter, they're awesome. They're great. I just don't like the third timeline. I, I despise the, the Hero Fallen timeline. It's such a stupid idea, 
and it opens up the door to multiverse theories. They, they opened up the... I hate multiverses. I hate multiverses. <laughs> it's a narrative dead end. There's no story to be had when there's infinite number of everything all the time. It, that's going to be part of my video. I'm going to I'm going to tackle the the um many worlds interpretation that 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 kind of stuff is based on of. Even physicists don't don't think like a lot of them uh don't think that that there's literally other universes. They just use it Okay, some of them do. Like a lot of them do. But a lot of them don't. It's hard to tell exactly the numbers, but but in the polls that I've seen from from whenever physicists are polled about stuff like that, it's always like 70, 30, 60, 40 to them. Oh yeah, look at this art style. Look at this timeless art style. This is the good shit. Look at this music. Feels weird. Yes, I know. That I'm gonna be. Com look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna be complaining about the graphics a lot, but the art style's still strong even in here. But the coloring, like all the, it's all just subtly wrong. Look, it's all subtly wrong. It's too bright. That's my biggest complaint. It's too bright. <laughs> You're gonna have me hear, hearing me about telling, talking about how too bright it is <laughs> throughout this whole thing. I love this link so much. Can you not turn off the bloom? No, no, the bloom is just part of their art direction. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. And this song is so top tier. It's actually kind of surprising. Oh my, I can move in first person. I didn't I didn't remember that. I did not remember I could move in first person. Okay, look at that weird bloom all over the ocean. It's not right. It's not right. The sky is so blurry and bright. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. This is it. This is it, yeah. For sure, one of the best art directions Zelda's ever gotten in. <laughs> I even like the cute little. Look! Hear this cute little crawling sound? It does. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Adorable. Hello, 48. Yes, I'm having a great day. Where's the booger boy? Isn't the booger boy supposed to be around here? <laughs> I could swear booger boy was supposed to be over there. My memory must just be failing me because I remember Booger Boy being... Oh, there he is. 
I'm playing on Simu. So the uh, the uh, Wii U emulator. What are the chances they make a game with this art style again? Is everything going to be Breath of the Wild from now on? We don't know what the future holds, Ian <laughs> Gruga, but we can hope. Yeah, at the time this game was, was released, um, Nintendo, it, it wasn't the cult classic that it is today. Like, uh, it didn't, the, the sweet, this GameCube wasn't selling to Nintendo standards. And this game wasn't selling to Nintendo standards. And so, uh, they just, they thought that, they thought that people just didn't like it. They thought people didn't like this game, they didn't want it. So they made Twilight Princess, made Twilight Princess. Uh, made it a more realistic, grittier Zelda, thinking that, you know, that's what the people wanted. They just did not wait at all. Ah! There he is. Ah! <laughs> My little sister played Zelda, and, uh... I would creep her out with the booger boy thing. No, I love Tally Princess too. It's just, um, I think Nintendo was was overzealous in trying to overcorrect the the reaction they got to Wind Waker. People love it now. I'm really hoping that the um, Switch gets a Wind Waker HD port. With the option to go back to classic graphics. <laughs> or turn off the bloom or the brightness or some shit. Something has to change. Nintendo would never do graphic options. Look, I, I'm a little more impressed with their ability to do remakes and remasters after the, um... Come here. Come here, piggy. Uh, after Metroid Prime Remastered. That was some solid shit. That was some solid shit. Yeah, e even, even my complaints of the HD version cannot... Cannot, uh... Make me... Bruh, I, I just put it in there. Give my money. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the Wind Waker HD and the Twilight Princess HD for the Switch are ready to go. They're done. They they have them. They're just not releasing them right now. They'll release them when when after Tears of the Kingdom comes out and they need some cash. Hello, name already taken. Make the Moblin all fleshy <laughs> with the Blue Point replay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sounds like what they do. Oh yeah, Katana, yeah. The the uh, I have at least a couple ready and the scripts to others are done for 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 ultimate. I'm really interested in the one uh, where I talk about uh, I think I, I mentioned that I was going to make a video on it a while ago. The one where I talk about um, 
the ending, the high rank ending for for, uh, for you with the with the commander, and I thought this rock was a pig. <laughs> they could have released last year. I think that they probably still have some work to do on them. What are you waiting for before you remaster? No, <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting for more interest in 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 a uh, Monster Hunter related stuff. Hey, Grimbones. Yeah, we finished Twilight Princess last stream. Have you guys ever seen a pig in real life and, like, really stared at it? Like, these are very adorable and all, and they're kind of cute when they're small, like all, like all animals. But, like, actual pigs are literally the most scary things I've ever seen. There's a good reason why, uh, Bloodborne had pigs as a scary enemy. They're huge. They have human teeth. The human teeth really bother me, man. They really bother me. With, with the piggies. <laughs> Ew, what, what is this inverted? Inverted shit. Can I, can I... Camera, standard, reverse. Okay, let's try that. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I ain't never seen so such ugly things. Okay. All right. That's just that's just nasty. I don't want to move my camera like this. Whatever. I just learned to live with it. Yeah, no, you fall asleep in a pig pen, like just normal, normal piggies, normal, uh, cute, uh, you know, farm piggies. I'm not talking about feral uh, hogs out in the wild. No, they'll eat you. They'll eat you. They'll eat you so good. They don't care. <laughs> they got those human teeth. They crunch through bones. They go through flesh. They're scary things, man. happened to this man's brain. He's been looking at Elden Ring lore too much. This is probably what Vati looks like. Does he exercise his brain? No, the brain's a muscle too, I think. <laughs> Yeah, in Zelda intros, I literally try and um, take my time, but Twilight Princess is is a hard one to really like savor its intro. I find. Bum bum. Even though Ordon Village actually is an excellent song.
bum, 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 bum. Where's my grandma? There she is. I really like this Link. He doesn't like the the hero clothing. <laughs> look at look at his face. You know, it's funny. I think this Link would like Breath of the Wild's outfit a lot more since it's blue. It's very much like what he's wearing right now. Oh, he's so cute. You know, this is a realistic house because the grandma's got something cooking. She's got a picture of her grandkids, but no pictures of herself. Very grandma behavior. Are we going to play the New Game Plus for this? What? There's no New Game Plus for this. Well, is there? No, the answer's no, but I, I don't think... Is there? I didn't know there was a New Game Plus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's what does the new game plus consist of? Oh yeah, yeah, the dialogue. The, you can you can listen to the things dialogue. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, look at the background. Look at the back, the brightness, the bloom. Too much. It's too much. It's not as noticeable when I'm walking around, but when they make me stay still for a second, it bothers me. Most of the time, the dialogue in the ancient Hylian isn't that important. There is that one that that tells us that this link isn't related to the other uh, link. It's not. He's not related to Ocarina of Time Link or any of the other ones. Uh, by bloodline. So that, that was important to the lore for a while. Why not play Wind Waker on the Dolphin emulator? Because I've already played that one, and if I'm going to complain about the Wind Waker HD one, I should at least play it. Plus, this one lets me aim with the gyro. <laughs> so, <laughs> have no choice. I want to at least understand the changes. Is he related to Spirit Tracks, Link? Yes. Probably. Probably. Maybe, actually. Maybe not. I've never thought about it. I've never been to, uh... Yes. I'm not playing Majora's Mask 3D. <laughs> no, don't ask don't ask me that. I won't sacrifice like that for you. If the heroes are not related by blood, why are they all named Link? I d 
I don't know. Maybe it's a common name. Maybe a lot of people get named Link. How many timelines are there? Officially, according to Nintendo, there are three timelines. Um, so, the correct canon answer is three timelines. If you ask me, three is one too many, and that third timeline should go. I don't know if, if Spirit Tracks Link actually is descendant from the other Links, because... Okay, so... The, the one in Phantom Hourglass is literally the same Link, but the one in Spirit Tracks, if this one's descendant from that, and this Link got together with Zelda, then that would make that distant incest. <laughs> so I, I like to think that that's not going on. Or maybe they just don't get together in one or the other one, so then that would be fine. Bum bum, bum bum. Aren't all humans distant incest? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> My plus says I miss 3DS gyro aiming while playing Majora's Mask 64. Okay, I, I feel you. I'm a, you know I'm a big gyro fan. But, like, you're doing the right thing <laughs> by playing the 64 version. Whoa. You know, if anything is a mystery, it's Beetle. Like, why is Beetle a thing? Beetle was in Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild. Like, that means Beetle has been around since the beginning of time, all the way up to the end of, of time. Is it always the same beetle? I don't know, bro. <laughs> He's named Beetle. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. Those hit effects look like they belong in Monster Hunter Rise, honestly. It's fine because we don't... You know, it's it's fine <laughs> because you don't hit that often, but they look like them. Sonic Master says, I don't 
I never got the complaint about the hit effects. Are you talking about on here or on in Monster Hunter Rise? In Monster Hunter Rise, it's because, you know, when a lot of people are going at a monster, like if you're by yourself, I suppose it's fine. But if there's three people and they're all hitting the monster, uh, it can even slow down your game on the Switch. Well, Alejandro, if he is a descendant from Wind Waker Link, that him and that Zelda better not be getting it on then. If if he's a descendant from Zelda as well, because if they if they are, like that's not that far into the future. It's not even a distant relative. That's like some of the people from Wind Waker are still alive. I, like Nico's there. Yeah, 100 years, that's not enough. That's not an off time. <laughs> Maybe it's the music. Maybe that's why I like this so much. Yeah, three generations, is that enough? Nope. Gotta keep that royal bloodline going. Have I played the 3DS titles? Yes. They're great. Oh yeah, look. See, do you see that? Do you see that transition into this nice music and then it, it slowly fades out and then now there's just the wind of the, the sound of the wind? Brilliant stuff. Good shit. I love it. I love it. If they don't, Link stops being reincarnated. Link never stops being reincarnated. There's no conditions to Link's reincarnations. He doesn't need to be descended from older Links. The spirit of the hero... Yeah, what Black Bloom said. Ooh. You know, I just remembered that these are the enemies that have different weapons and they can pick up different weapons. And you know, the weapons they pick up do different amounts of damage. So that's like fairly advanced. That's before Twilight Princess. Anto says, also, what if the 
the royal family doesn't give birth to a girl. If the royal family ever stops having... Like, if they get wiped out, that's the it. That's the end. Because Hylia needs uh, to be part of the bloodline. They don't need Zeldas all the time, though. It just needs to be part of the bloodline. When, when again... Yeah, what Blackbloom just said. Yes. The thing is, I actually don't like Hylia very much, because she's a bitch. <laughs> she's, I, I think Hylia's a time goddess. Her whole thing is time. The powers that she gives to Zelda include prophecy. And uh, she, she just predicts things really far in the future. That's her shtick. And so, like, everything feels manipulated in Skyward Sword and in future games after that. Like, she planned all of it. I hate stuff. I don't like stuff like that. So I try not to think about it. Who knows how much she knows or doesn't know. She knows enough that she built all the temples in Skyward Sword for Link, knowing that he would go for them. She predicted at least that far into the future, which was pretty far. The messages she transmitted, like, they were like pre-recorded messages through Fi. I like this Zelda incarnation. This Tetra, great character. Good stuff. Best wingman. That was funny. Um, no, I don't think, my fly, I don't think that all the Gerudos turn into evil demon kings. Uh, I think that the Gerudos just have a thing where, uh, they don't have very many men. And so every, every time there's a male, he ends up becoming the king, uh, by tradition. And in Breath of the Wild, you know that there hasn't been a male Gerudo in a really long time. But, like, they usually have one every hundred years, but there hasn't been one, and the reason is because Ganondorf's still alive in, in, um, locked away underneath the castle. So, I guess they can't have more males until one dies. <laughs> if 
Bum 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 bum. I hear that they shrunk the ocean size in the HD remaster. I don't know if they shrunk it, but I do know that they made a um, uh, a sail that sails faster. I have trouble with any grandma-related things, because I have a grandma, and, uh, she dotes on me. So when there's any sad grandma moments in video games, that, that, oh, there is a picture of her. There she is. He's got his little sad face still. I love that, that they did that, where he's still holding the thing up in the air. <laughs> now, I can't deal with that grandma shake right there. How do the Gerudo reproduce? They kidnap men. <laughs> In Ocarina of Time, they kidnap men. <sighs> yeah, Gan Ganondorf is the first time there's been a Ganon. All the Ganons uh, come from Ganondorf. Ganon is just what uh, Ganondorf turns into when he got the power of the Triforce. I think if there's anything that makes Ganon special is that he's the first incarnation of Demise that um, that got a, a piece of the Triforce. So if there's anything special about him specifically, it's that he, ma he managed to get a Triforce piece. No, nah, they can't do that. Oh, she's a great character. This game does not have, have, like, not even just bad songs. They don't even have poor quality songs. I can't think of any. So far, every every song I've heard is still top tier. Bum, 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 bum. Which timeline is Breath in the Wild all, all again? I think it doesn't... It, I think it's in all of them. There's some people that dispute uh, this, but I think Nintendo wants it to be all of them.
<laughs> yeah, this has aged incredibly gracefully. It hasn't aged at all, really. There's a different version of the same song for the interior of the ship. That was quite a noise. You know, I bet it gets lonely in at sea. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Alright, Grim Brones, I'll see ya. Tetra like 12. I'm talking about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think realism has its its purposes. I think that's, there's even a way to make a cartoony, realistic game. NRX says, I think timeline convergence theory takes Easter eggs too seriously. A link between... I just think that... I... I from, from the interviews that I've seen with Nintendo, they also don't... I think they just don't want the timeline to exist anymore. I think they want to bring it all together and then it doesn't exist past Breath of the Wild. It's the least... It's the least annoying interpretation, in my opinion. I think it'll be made more clear once Tears of the Kingdom comes out. But honestly, I don't care because I don't I don't care about the timeline in general. I think there's a lot of evidence that the Ocarina of Time timeline break, the the, the original one that people talk about, that was intentional. Like there's a, people were theorizing about that well well before. I you know, you could independently come to the conclusion of that um Damn it. Woo! Okay, I think I got it. You could independently come to that conclusion without, without, you know, the Hyrule Historia. I think I did, actually. But, um... As for... The third timeline, that was a, that was a matter of necessity. You know, they, they, have, they had written themselves into a corner and they needed a way out. But I'll cover I'll cover all of this timeline shenanigans in my video. Bye. It seems like the Zelda fans care a lot more about the timelines than the devs. I think I cared a lot more before the third timeline existed. I, like I I probably would be right there with people trying to argue that it was my timeline. But after the third one and after reading some of their interviews and stuff, it's like this isn't Dark Souls. Like this. The, You'll be disappointed if you if you give them that much credit. Come on. James Russell, if if it is any one timeline, it's going to be the third. It's going to be the one you're you're referencing. It's the third timeline that I don't like. Uh, if if Breath of the Wild is connected to any specific timeline and it's not a convergence of all timelines, then that's the one that's going to be.
So I agree. I still think convergence is more acceptable. It's more palatable to me. Um, especially since they reference Twilight Princess and um, Wind Waker in several places. You know what I like about this Zelda? She reminds me of Midna a lot. I miss Midna. Does Ocarina of Time even say that? No, that, that was just pe what people inferred. It doesn't explicitly say it. You know, now that I'm an adult and I read that sentence, why would the fact that there's a bunch of seagulls hovering over a window imply that that's where your sister is? That actually doesn't make any sense at all. I love this. I love this. This is great. This is so fu this was so funny to my my childhood heart. Look at this shit. <laughs> slide <laughs> it's just funny to look at this is great this is wonderful yeah no I, I maintain this is this this was way better than Twilight Princess's intro much stronger even though some people don't like the Forsaken Fortress part it's way better Also, as a child, this one, this place almost stopped me from playing. It was so scary. So scary. It was rough for the first hour. It was extremely hard for a, for a kid. I really struggled with it. But it was, I was really fascinated, though. Like, you can't tell me it's not gripping. Like, uh, trying to, trying to deal with it. Dreadwolf, you were 16 when this game came out. Well then, <laughs> still. I actually don't remember how old I was at all. Alright, my fly. See you later. I did not mean to throw that.
Hello, Miku. The Helmarok King fight? What which fight is that? I didn't know that's what his name was. You can't look at names in uh, Wind Waker. Oh, the figurines. Right, 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 right. I actually collected a ton of those. I don't think I got them all, but I was looking. I looked really hard for them. And I didn't have internet at the time that I played Wind Waker. I always thought Gonma was was white. It took me a minute to realize who you were talking about too. Bum 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 bum. You know, I remember this being way harder. I guess that's just the benefits of getting older and not being a little kid. <laughs> um, but I remember getting caught constantly and sent back to the jail cell. Already here, okay. <laughs> I want a form of Goma. There's a lot of things I would like. Um, now that we know that crafting, weapon crafting is going to be a thing in Tears of the Kingdom, they don't have to just use humanoid enemies. You, you can already see a bunch of enemies that aren't humanoid in nature, since you can just use their parts to make weapons. So they don't, they don't need humanoid enemies anymore if they don't want them. Ah! Darknet should return for sure. Yep. You know, this is where I learned the word sidle. I use the word sidle sometimes and I always think of this specific action and Link like sidling like this and his eyes like One's bigger than the other one as he's like looking around. It's kind of, it's great. It's cute. I like to thank video games for uh, my vocabulary. Shit. I forgot about that. Can we make it? We can make it. Ah! Okay, hang on. We'll just wait right here.
Is there enough time? Let me think about this. No, there's not enough time. There's not enough time. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. I got all the other ones except that one, so I guess I gotta get that one. Mm, okay, I'll go around. Weird. How do I get to that last watchtower? Let's see. Probably through this door. I'm not going to get captured on purpose. they got to earn it. It's not fun if, if you just get captured. It's weird that they show me that same door again, like I didn't see it before. <laughs> Look at that Moblin's cake, bro! <laughs> I didn't have to look at that sentence. <laughs> I really didn't. I could have gone without it. <laughs> Although, I do think I remember thinking that as a kid. Which 2D Zeldas haven't I played? Probably... Uh, I haven't played Oracle of Seasons. I haven't played that one. And I haven't played uh, Zelda 2 or the original. Yeah, I like all of the games where a Toon Link equivalent appears. Uh, so this one, Spirit Tracks, and 
Phantom Hourglass, those are fun. But also uh, Minish Cap, that's probably my favorite 2D Zelda game. Obviously, I haven't played the CDI games, so I don't know. I don't know what even they're about. Doesn't Minish Cap get a bad rap? I don't know if it does. It, it wasn't until I started deciding to make Zelda content that I've been looking at the Zelda community. So I've always been a Zelda fan. You know, but I didn't, um, I didn't really start caring or thinking about what other people thought about Zelda games until I, um, you know, started interacting with the community. So, like, I was actually, I was surprised that people didn't like Skyward Sword. I didn't know that there was a big Skyward Sword hatred for, for a long time. I was very much the, uh, play the game and then play the next game, uh, and think my thoughts to myself, but not, not really worry about what was going on the internet for Zelda for a long time. Has anyone seen AI Obama, Biden, and Trump writing Zelda? Yeah, those AI president memes are peak comedy. I don't. I think we've we've reached the maximum of how funny things can be. I, I have seen those. I just noticed that that's his theme song, uh, that, that plays in Ocarina of Time, his first phase battle song. I wonder if bodies would really float unconscious. You see that a lot in media and, you know, movies. I'm not sure they would. Because it's hard to float consciously, you know. Oh, is it easier in the ocean to float? You know, it's really interesting. He's like, I don't know why the Seal of the Gods failed. This is the Ganondorf that got sealed away in Ocarina of Time by the Seven Sages. He's supposed to be in the Sacred Arm. And it's never explained why he got out. He just, he just did.
This is explained when you reach Hyrule. Are you sure? What's the explanation? Oh, yeah. That's the good music. But it's it's marred by this bloom and this sunlight. It's too bright. It's too much. I don't like it. Colors are weird. It's just... The problem is it's still really high quality. It's just ever so slightly wrong. <laughs> very distracting. It's like it's not enough to really complain. Like, my complaints are very minimal. But it's still enough to make me notice sometimes. I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up to us and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers. <laughs> Alright, Derp, I'll see you. Have a good sleep. Yeah, I like that they don't tell you anything about the sale. They're like, alright, here, new town, go explore. Go find it. <laughs> I bet that guy is into crypto. <laughs> Wind Waker Island, Outside Island, one of the best towns. One of the best towns. Like it so much. You know, I actually like this this um, poor person guy here a lot because once he gets, you know, he gets his daughter and he gets rich and then he becomes an asshole. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> there's probably a lot of people like him in real life that probably just were better off not having money. They they would have remained better people had they been had they remained poor. I know at least a couple of people I think are like that. If I could indulge, if you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. <laughs> what? I'm still looking better than all the younger girls. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Thank you. 
He came here with Tingle? I actually didn't know that. I always rescued Tingle before I came into this part of the island before. That's really interesting. That's really, really interesting. Hey, where's the... Do they add the little structures later where you can plant flags in Wind Waker? Or did they remove them in the HD version? I don't remember how to get him out. Oh, okay. You guys want to hear a weird story? My friend's mother, when I, when I was a teenager, I was like 16, like teenage, teenage years. I had a friend and his mother was crazy, like actually crazy, like, like unwell um, and abusive. And so she would take his phone sometimes and pretend to be him texting other people to like find out his business and stuff. And so we developed a password uh, to, to uh, determine if, if he was actually him when I'm talking on the phone with him over text. And the password was Tingle Tingle Kulimpa. Because <laughs> that's what he says here. What is this? Oh, Meverse. Okay. Hey, Smotown. Nice to see you. I'm glad you enjoyed my uh, Zelda video. You know what I'm not? You know what I'm not loving, Smotown? I'm not liking these these uh, insiders saying that the DLC is going to happen after Armored Core and the Armored Core DLC is going to happen in September. That's not. I'm not liking that at all, bro. And then the uh, uh, like some people are 24 2024 release year. Um, no. What the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't wait. No. <laughs> it's too long. Why would they even announce it? Awful. Yeah, it's gonna be a long while. Bum, bum. Yeah, it's gonna be a long year. Brutal. Yes, this is one of the timelines that that uh that happens after Ocarina of Time. I think I'm just gonna make a video complaining, honestly. Uh, if true. Well, not if true. I'm just gonna make a video complaining. <laughs> it's like, please don't don't take a year. You could have just kept quiet about. You could have said nothing, and I wouldn't have uh, known to be unhappy. Hmm. 
<laughs> Has from software ever revealed DLC that soon? No, they haven't. What they've done before um, is they'll reveal the DLC and then they'll quick and they'll tell you the release date at the same time that they tell you the the DLC, and it'll usually be two months from that. This is, it's quite unusual. And seeing how it's unusual, maybe it'll be fantastic. You know, like maybe it'll be huge. Maybe it'll be a gigantic DLC. Hello, Tomlin. You know, I suppose it's fine now that now that you say it like that. You know, no, it's fine. It's fine. I have Tears of the Kingdom this year. We have Armored Core Six. I'm so, I'm sort of interested in Final Fantasy Sixteen. I might I might be very interested in it uh, once we see some more. So you know what? Okay, it's fine. There's plenty to play, plenty to cover. Yeah, that, that Armored Core 6 trailer, very impressive. Two hundred... Oh, uh, 80 groupies, okay. I would really, I, I can't make any Armored Core videos until I, I, I guess I could talk about some of the older ones. I could play them and talk about them, but I really want to see what we're looking at. How am I playing this? I'm playing this through Simu uh, emulation. It's a Wii, it's the Wii U one. It's very excellent. I, I know it seems long for the Elden Ring DLC, James, but, um, It's fine. It's fine. They've got they've got a lot working on it. If I get one good thing from from software a year, I'm happy pretty much. Why does the thumbnail have the number 3 on it? Oh, because I ch forgot to change it to 1. That's why. <laughs> I guess <laughs> you're the first one to say that. Why didn't nobody else tell me the thumbnail had a 3 on it? <laughs> Where do you find your Zemu sips? Zemu Um I use it's called like um, Wii USB helper, and it like it simplifies the process for you. Ver no, no, no! This is the first Wind Waker stream. <laughs> I can't believe nobody called me out on that. <laughs> Feel like a chump. Yeah, I got the sale. All right, I, I have to admit that's a that's a good improvement. So in the Wii U version, the sale is no longer an item you have to bind; it's just there. So that's that's quite impressive. Smotown, I need to reattempt Breath of the Wild. Maybe you shouldn't. If, if you're intending to play Tears of the Kingdom, maybe you shouldn't. Um, 
Like, I, I, a lot of people complaining are complaining that the map is being reused. And to be fair, we don't know exactly what that means in Tears of the Kingdom, how much of the map is being reused. But if it is a significant number, maybe it would feel better to play it uh, fresh. Yeah, we don't know yet how much of the how much of the map will change. The thing is, uh, Smotown. Uh, at the time, I thought I think Breath of the Wild was super revolutionary. Uh, it, it like it was an open world that that took an interesting idea of freedom. But I don't think it's anywhere near on the level of Elden Ring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of my Zelda uh, new Zelda uh, followers, but Elden Ring knocked it the fuck out of the water. If Zelda was ever going to be a uh, top-tier open-world thing, Elden Ring just took it from it. Took it from it. In a post-Elden Ring world, Ze uh, uh, Breath of the Wild uh, just does not hold up. That's why I'm so hopeful for Tears of the Kingdom. What my, <laughs> you know, here's my here's my want. I want Tears of the Kingdom to be better than Elden Ring. I do. I want Tears of the Kingdom to be better than Elden Ring, and then I want the uh, DLC to make Elden Ring compete again. The way I see Elden Ring, Elden Ring um, p changed the landscape in the same way that, that um, fuck, <laughs> it changed the landscape in much the same way that Breath of the Wild did ori originally. Uh, when Breath of the Wild came out for five years, six years after, well, it's only been like six years since it came out, people were, were comparing every new open world game to the Breath of the Wild. They're still doing that. That still happens. Uh, and now that Elden Ring has come out, they're doing that same thing to Elden Ring. Elden Ring gets compared to every new open world game. So let's see what let's see what Tears of the Kingdom is about. Let's see what it, I have only high hopes for it. I don't need the wind altar right now. I guess I could. It'll be fine. I'll get it later. No, no, I don't say... What? There's no backtracking here. I'll just get it before I leave the island. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot there's a different button for... for uh... Yeah, I also know I will enjoy Tears of the Kingdom a lot. Yeah, the HD humps a lot. That's why I'm playing it on it. But I, I do have problems with this uh, aesthetic. Smotown, I'm not a massive puzzle guy. 
Breath of the Wild didn't have many puzzles, actually. Actually, that's one of the complaints people had. Um, well, it had it had the shrines. Okay, it, it didn't have the kinds of puzzles that I'm talking about. I want dungeons. <laughs> that's really that I've become. I've become the I want dungeons guy. Like every every podcast episode that I have, every uh, everything, it's all like, where's my fucking dungeons? <laughs> Will I be streaming my first playthrough? Nope. No, absolutely not. First playthroughs are sacred. There won't be any streaming going on at all during during that time. Just like Elden Ring, I'll be playing it and making videos about it as I go. I'm going to be marinating in it. I'm not going to do shit. I'm not going to... I'm going to make videos as, as I go along. It worked really well for me in Elden Ring, and I managed to have a very uh, complete playthrough. You know, I took my time, and also I, I got to do videos. It was great. I'm going to try and do the same thing again. Put some out on the tilt. Your control puzzle always made me slam my head to the table. <laughs> Wasn't there a way to do that without the motion controls? I did use the motion controls, but I always thought there was a no motion control method. Am I one of the people that had a crush on the bird girl on this place? No, I don't think I had a crush on any of the people here. Hang on, let me think. Is there any waifus in... <clears throat> in, um... Uh, Wind Waker? Oh! I know who. I know who. You know the, the, the rich girl that became poor? Uh, and, and was a vagabond in Outset Island? I liked her. I thought she was cool. Yeah, the one that gives you a bottle. It's really sad you don't get to see more of her uh, story. I thought they could have elaborated on her more. You know, I've been thinking about this for a while. Did they slightly change the songs in the HD version, or am I imagining things? Because I could swear there's like tiny, tiny changes in the songs, but but I'm like, there's no way they change the songs just for these tiny, tiny changes. So I, mu I must be wrong. I must be imagining it. Yeah, Wind Waker's art style is 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 timeless, I think. I think if they put um uh Wind Waker HD on the Switch, they'd realize how much people like this game. Uh, Twilight Princess HD didn't sell very well, but I think Wind Waker HD would uh, sell really, really good on the Switch. Oh, Eponym says, they did instrumental recordings of some tracks, but the music is pretty much the same. Okay, so it, it it it's the same music, uh, and they tried to play it the same way. So if I'm if I'm hearing any differences, it's just because it's a re-recording. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, Nintendo wasn't so stingy they could put out a collection of Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker in one remaster bundle for $60. I'm kind of been spoiled after that uh, Metroid Prime remaster, which is, like, it, it's as good as any remake. Like, probably the greatest remake ever made. And only $40. After that shit, like, I really don't want to see them putting out $60 HD updates with, with minimal changes. It, 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 my standards have increased after that. Like, I was, I was happy with the Skyward Sword HD. At a full $60, I was like, I'll play it. Like, it's, it's fine. But now I'm like, I'm retroactively, uh, I'm retroactively angry at Skyward Sword HD. I forget where the prince is. He's outside, I think? I don't remember where the prince is. There's a basement? Oh, that's just, that must be his door. MM is in Majora's Mask. What is this? Ah, okay. <laughs> I did read the dialogue. I skimmed it. I was talking. <laughs> Shut up, Landro. <laughs> Your nosy. My brother in Christ, have you seen your nose? It's like 30% of your face. Calling me nosy. A lot of people thought, you know, I think this is probably still a thing. A lot of the reason people didn't like Skyward Sword was the motion controls or Fi or the fact that, you know, you pick up an item and it just tells you the description over and over again. All those were problems, maybe. But that's not the real problem. The real problem was that it had no, 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 did have too many puzzles. It was just all puzzles all the time. That was the problem.
And it was weird. It was like psychologically unsatisfying because some of the puzzles, some of the things was like, all right, you've finally gotten to the boss door. You can enter the, not, not the boss door, you can enter the dungeon now. You've got, you've made your way through series of puzzles to get to the, to the door, to the dungeon. And now we have, we're going to send you away to go get a random item to, to be able to enter the dungeon where you'll be faced with more puzzles. Yeah, you're talking about the the pack mule, but the pack mule's not even the the only one. There were lots of those. <laughs> I don't blame them for going the Breath of the Wild direction after Skyward Sword. I don't. And that's from someone that really likes Skyward Sword. One of my favorites. The small shrine? Bro, that ain't no small shrine. That dungeon's real big. Yeah, I know, uh, Alejandro. Could I have done it faster than that, though? I actually don't think so, because I would have had to play the song. <laughs> I think I did it much faster than than uh, than that. Plus, you have to take into account the time to go down there and get the the song. So if you'd reduce, deduct that from that, I, I, I mean, what did it take me? One second. You do so have to do it. That's true. That is true. You know what was you know what was weird about Beetle and Skyward Sword? You can meet him at night and he would talk all fancy. Yes, I finished Twilight Princess. Have I played Link Between Worlds? I think it's excellent. Link Between Worlds was one of the best 2D ones. For sure. I have trouble uh, thinking if it's better than A Link to the Past, but it's close. It's a real close. Maybe it. Maybe I do like it better. It is because of Yuga. Yuga's theme song is awesome. I don't know if there's actually words in his theme song, but it sounds like they're words and they're cool.
It's been a really long time since I heard that sound effect, that dungeon sound effect. It's like a that ocarina one, the one that goes that one. You hear it? <laughs> I didn't remember that, um, Wind Waker- what the fuck? Huh. That Wind Waker had some of the Ocarina of Time dungeon sounds. It's my favorite Zelda game. Maybe Breath of the Wild. Maybe Breath of the Wild. But probably Ocarina of Time. <laughs> In fact, I don't even know why I'm saying Breath of the Wild. It's Ocarina of Time. <laughs> If it's not Ocarina, it's Majora's Mask. What, we're going to replay them here, and I'll decide uh, over the course of, of playing both of them. But it's probably either... But but whichever one of uh, is number one, so it's either Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Whichever one's number one, Breath of the Wild's number two. Fuck Chew. <laughs> I just went through... Um, uh, Twilight Princess Fluffy, and I, I don't agree. I don't even think most of Twilight Princess's dungeons are all that great. I think the first one's good, uh, with the monkeys. I like the Lake Bed Temple. I like, uh, Snow Peak Ruins. But I thought that pretty much all the other ones were kind of okay-ish. They're not bad by any means, but, uh, not that great. But mid yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I don't like City in the Sky. I, I, I realize that going through it. I like the City in the Sky concept. Um, and I like the, the double claw shot. But I don't like City in the Sky. Arbiter's, Ar Arbiter's Grounds, I liked a little bit, but I liked his boss more than I like Arbiter's Grounds. The boss for Arbiter's Grounds was so sick, it's actually, like, probably one of the best bosses in Zelda. Really hard to compare. No, it's not because I got stuck. Shut up. <laughs> uh, both. Both the boss and the mini-boss. I'm assuming the mini-boss is like a uh, executioner, probably. He's like an executioner. He was the guy that was the executioner and the ex that was his sword. I don't know that, but that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, Zelda games just aren't 
I think just in general we're not difficult. Except, sadly, maybe Breath of the Wild's early stages, um, which I, I enjoyed a lot. Well, I will have to get back to you, Fluffy, because I don't want to... I don't want to comment on o Ocarina's dungeons until I, I replay them. I, I realize playing Twilight Princess, there's just a lot I don't remember. Um... I have to reform my opinions, which is one of the reasons why I'm replaying all of these. I do remember I liked this. The fact that you could go outside of the dungeon and crawl around on the outside and it was still part of the dungeon. But it was like a... I, I thought that was cool. Rank the games <laughs> that I've covered. Ooh. Oh, that'd be tough. Yep, I did see the President's Rank Zelda games. Okay. I got stuck here. I got stuck here because they trick you into trying to sidle. I remember as a child I, I got stuck there. Yep. Yes, I saw the president's rank. I want to make one of those uh, president's AI things, but I don't know how, so I might have to go research like how to how to uh if they if they already have them available the voices or do you have to train them yourself All right Antos have a good rest I would just make, you know what I would do if I if I uh, could do that? I'd make them argue about, um, like I'd make them argue about Tears of the Kingdom uh, versus older Zelda games, or, or, uh, or Monster Hunter's older games, or Elden Ring versus Dark Souls, stuff like that. It's what people talk about in my comment section anyway, all the time. Who's the best great fairy? The great fairy queen on here. That's that's the one I like the most. Yep. This is why you you don't like the great fairy girl on here. She's great. She's got a great song. You must see the Great Fairy from Hyrule. Okay, so uh, Hyrule Warriors is actually next. I'm going to play that. She's a kid. I'm not... You just said who's the best, not... <laughs> and she is. She's great.
The one from Hyrule Warriors would make you and Miyazaki. Okay, now I need to see it. Okay, now I need to see it. Hi Hyrule Warriors is, is, um... Yes, I have played the messenger. I like the messenger. Uh, I'm, I intend to cover the, that studio's new game, um, Sea of Stars. I might make a, a review on it, because I think I can get an early copy of it from them. No, I'm not going to watch a cutscene. I have to play it. I have to play it myself. Oh, you haven't heard the mess. The Messenger is like old Ninja Gaiden. It's it's a modern studio that that uh, made an old Ninja Gaiden like game, uh, and they really captured like the the identity of the side scroller thing. But I, uh, I, if you're gonna play it, maybe you should not listen to what I'm about to say. Um, but it has a very cool gimmick. It has a very cool thing halfway through the game where the game transforms what kind of game it is. And it goes from a side-scrolling... Um, it goes from a side-scrolling uh, Ninja Gaiden with with good gameplay and, and fun combat. And it turns into a Metroidvania halfway through. Um, and you can scroll in both directions. The graphics update and become newer. It's, it's just very excellent. Plus a good story. Good story. So uh, it, it's one of those it's one of those things where I can t I think the company really gets what they're doing like they understand the concept, and so now they're making a Chrono Trigger like um, JRPG. Yes, it also has excellent humor, really interesting humor. Um, so they're making another one, and uh, I looked at their website page, and they talk about how they they're just going to make the kind of games that they want to make. And I think if they are able to capture the spirit of Chrono Trigger the way that they captured the spirit of the things they were going for, they're they're good. Am I going to continue with my Elden Ring strings? I've been playing Elden Ring, you know. I've been continuing with it. Uh, but for streaming it, I think I'll hold off. I want to get through Wind Waker... And then once we're done with Wind Waker, we'll go through Hyrule Warriors, since it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it'll be a light game, I think. Is this not open? Yes, the final boss of the mess, the messenger was just a good game in general. Good stuff. You know, how was I supposed to know this guy was here if I didn't already know he was here? What do you mean Corona Trigger isn't achievable? You mean it won't be as good as Corona Trigger? Well, a few things will be if that's what you mean. Although I personally think Chrono Trigger can be surpassed. I just haven't seen anything in its style that does it. But I think it can be. It's just that peop people that try and recreate Chrono Trigger usually don't get why Chrono Trigger was good in the first place. So, you know, I'm looking forward to someone. It's not like it's, not like it's going to remain the best thing of its kind forever. I would hope that the uh, the ignorant the industry doesn't stagnate that quickly. Damn it! Oh yeah, chained echoes. Someone asked me about chained echoes. Um, I finished chained echoes. Its ending sucked. Ending sucked. I thought it had a really strong writing up up until the end, <laughs> and then I was like, "Well, you fumbled, you fumbled right at, at uh, right at the finish line." I would have made videos about you if you had kept up, you could kept up with it. 
everyone praises it. It's really good. It, it's it's really good. But I thought it was going to be my first uh, Chrono Trigger level uh, game of that type. <laughs> and it wasn't. <laughs> Made me angry. Does anyone actually use the pots in this game? I never use them. What did you think of Bouncer's Inside Story? Yeah, that was great. I, I liked that one a lot. I don't think I'm going to play any more of the uh, Paper Mario games or the Mario and Luigi games, but I think I've played the best ones uh, at this point, and I'm very happy with the results. Good stuff. What differentiates it from other JRPGs? It's quality. That's it. <laughs> it's very it's very similar to other JRPGs. It's just got a better story than most. Found greater than Chrono Trigger, bro. I don't think so. I'm not. On, I'm not in that camp. This guy, do not speak for me. <laughs> I do like Earthbound, though. Earthbound's good. Have I played Celeste? Yes, I liked it. It was my 2021 metaphor for depression game of the year. And I played Amori in 2022. Have I played Honey Pop? No, I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, did I beat the main story or all the way through Farewell? Probably just the main story since I'm not sure what you're talking about. Have I played one shot? No. Where's the link to the past stream? It'll it'll it's coming. Was Dark T uh, Cloud 2 good? I've heard mixed reviews for the Dark Cloud games. Wait a minute. I think I just noticed something. Maybe, maybe I'm imagining things, never mind. Why don't I like Wind Waker HD? Uh, the graphics. I don't like the, the fuzziness. Like, there's constant fog everywhere. Uh, the lighting. I, d I don't like... It, but it's, like, not the worst, you know? So there's, a, like, a real limit to how much I can complain. And the quality of life changes are so good. I, I would just prefer the older... I prefer the older version, aesthetically. Yeah. 
Favorite 2D Zelda, Minish Cap. Minish Cap favorite 2D Zelda. Minish Cap has way more charm than almost any of the other Zelda games. Yes, yes, Link's Awakening, um... Although I only played the remake to Wings Awakening, to be fair. But, um, yeah, no, Minish Cap really it hit all the, the right notes for me. Alright, Stephanos, I'll see you later. <laughs> the Crest Collection. Yeah, I don't think I bothered with a lot of that. Actually, Minish Cap was kind of hard. Did anybody else think Minish Cap was hard as fuck? Because I did. I thought it was very difficult. I remember the last boss had me struggling. Struggling. No, Minish Cap is not the one that you play with four people. That's Four Sword and Four Sword Adventures. Um, it's just a Game Boy. It's a Game Boy game that uh, is a single player. One thing I hope they bring for Breath of the Wild um, 2, I mean Tears of the Kingdom, but I repeat myself, uh, is that I'm hoping for... I'm hoping for parries to be stronger. Um, oh wait, I've got to... Um, I've got to make them stationary. Because as it stands, parries are just inferior to flurry rushes, um, which is unfortunate, because they're cool to do. What's my biggest fear concerning Tears of the Kingdom? That there's no dungeons. That's my biggest fear. That right there. That's literally the only thing that could turn me into a, a, a naysayer. If, if it just comes out and there's no dungeons. Or something similar to Divine Beasts. That people will say these are totally dungeons when they're not. Oh god! What if there's just one dungeon? It better be massive, and it better be like the kind of dungeon that you go back in over and over over the course of the game. Like you go back out and you get something else, and then you can go deeper into the dungeon. And it changes over time. Something like that. Yeah, I was thinking about the uh, the Spirit Tracks Temple, which I actually kind of liked because um, I, I liked that Zelda. That was, one, that was one of the cool Zeldas. Very good Zelda.
Okay. Third floor. I, I I actually can't believe I made that. Yeah, I'm playing the Wii U emulator. Yes, Simu. Alejandro, why are you always trying to ruin my fun by telling me the answer? I'm trying to be here and enjoy getting not knowing stuff for a second. And you're like, oh, use the pot. No, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Let me be lost for a bit. Where is the pot? Pot's around. You have a point. Maybe I could get to the pot. Jump into the lava. <laughs> Well, if I could get to a pot now, that would be convenient because there's a pot at the at the door, at the boss door. I don't remember where the pots even are. Hey, hideous fox. All right, Smotown. Thanks for coming. Do I have any show anime recommendations? I like, um, I like Tatami Galaxy and Legend of Galactic Heroes. <laughs> Those are two animes that I like. Oh, there's the pot. There's three of us Legend of Galactic Hero fans. God damn it. <laughs> they recently made a, a like a remake for it, I think, but um I don't like it. It's not as good as the original.
Oh, wow. You know, it's funny. It's actually harder to get to the pot than it is to get to the boss door. So there's like, there's literally no point. I guess it's for people that, like, leave the dungeon, because it doesn't save. What the heck? <laughs> Hideous Fox says that uh, Wind Waker was the first game his mom liked because she liked how he drowned. Okay. <laughs> what does the pot do? It teleports you to other pots that you've unlocked. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't send you back to the other pots? Are you sure? I thought that's what I thought that was it do. I thought it you can teleport be pots between pots. I was sure that's what it did. Yeah, I, th I don't know, uh, Hideous Fox. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna actually test it because I think you're wrong. I think it does send you from pot to pot. I did never use them, but that sounds stupid. He's a really cool designed boss for being such a shitty uh, fight. Like his his music is good, his his aesthetic is good, the way he attacks is cool. It's just uh. Damn it. Oh, he's so happy! Look at his little jump! Yeah, no. Skyward Sword Link, one of the best ones. Probably one of my- probably my favorite. He's great. Ah! 
All right, I'm gonna go look at that. But can I leave without touching that? What? What do you mean no? Wow. Okay. Yeah, Wind Waker. I meant Wind Waker. <laughs> I don't think I like Skyward Sword Link very much. I do like the Zelda on that one though. Very nice Zelda. I remember when I was a kid, I was sad because this this uh, the prince kind of gets better after this and starts being such a whiny baby. And then I think he likes the girl, but then she has to go off and be a sage to power up to be a battery for your sword. I always thought they were siblings. She does uh, give off that big sister energy. But now, no, we're going back into the dungeon. Where we have to get to the bottom of this pot business. Climb. What are you doing trying to work for the, the Rito anyway? I went to one of the Zelda Orchestra things in Chicago a uh, long time ago. It was so good. It was awesome. Especially the Dragon Roost Isle one. Very good. <laughs> Alright, where's this pot? Okay, great. You're right. You're about to see. You're about to enjoy some great fairy. Boom! Boom! The Wind Waker Great Fairy appreciates your simping. Takes you to the boss door one, two. Right here. And then takes you back. Does exactly what I said it did. <laughs> yeah. 
No, you do have to activate the pots. Like, the first one's open, but then the next one's, you have to, like, blow something up or burn it. Bum, 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 bum. Just top tier music all around. I can't wait for that one song. Uh, you know the song, that one boss song that goes chicka 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 chicka. Can't wait to hear that shit. <laughs> Where is the Wind Waker? Is it not an item? How do I, uh... How do I use it? Oh, it's, it's up. Okay. Oh yeah. Anyway, when I, when I went to the um, to the hybrid, the Zelda Symphony thing, the when the Wind Waker section started coming up, the lady composer uh, had a special made Wind Waker baton thing that she switched to, and she used that for the whole symphony. It was awesome. It was really cool. Yeah, the conductor. I think it was actually on the same day that um, A Link Between Worlds released. It was like a big deal here in Chicago. Alright, I think this is a good place to stop. Fun. Fun, fun. Alright, we'll probably have another stream tomorrow, fellas. Probably at a more reasonable earlier time. Thanks for coming. Goodbye, Rugafurio, Alejandro. Merly, Blackbloom, Alejandro, I expect some simping done next stream if, if I get to the Great Fairy. Goodbye, fellas.